Hi, I finally have a video out again, yay! This time I am uh, fixing the line art for this piece of Yuna and Titus. And I'm just quickly flipping through my sketchbook to show you some of the other Final Fantasy fan arts that I made recently. Later on I will make another video where I highlight some of the artworks that I've done this past year. Uh, for celebrating my one year on YouTube and my one year on Etsy. It has taken me quite a lot of time to uh, get done with this piece because uh, you might not know this, but I only have one memory card and one battery for my camera. And because of that, I as soon as my battery runs dry, I have to charge it, of course, and then I can't then I can't really take more. Uh, film anymore and then also when my memory card is full I have to first charge the camera because somehow it can't transfer and charge at the same time even though I have a specific setting that I've turned on so that is a problem because charging time is like two hours or so and transferring all the videos also takes uh, around two hours so it's really time consuming and and as soon as i'm able to i'm going to invest in a new sd card and a new battery and a charger so that i can like have two batteries always ready so i can just change them in the meantime i just have to be patient when I was planning on uh, making this video, I asked you on uh, Instagram what you would like me to talk about in this video. And uh, one of you commented that you wanted to hear like my, uh, my thoughts while uh, making this piece. And uh, whenever I'm making line art, I am very concerned <laughs> with uh, making straight lines. And it's very difficult. I think. I don't know if I'm just not practicing enough uh, or if I'm not having a steady hand simply, but line art isn't really my favorite part of drawing. It tends to get better like the more I've been uh, doing it. So it's always like when I'm gonna start fixing line art is always the most, I don't know, anxious part. <laughs> All in all, I'm pretty satisfied with this, but while I was making it, I was just being very concerned with the lines. What's good about this paper though, that I'm using, I am uh, using this sketchbook that I bought last year in April, I think. And the paper has a texture that works very well with uh, Copic markers. So when I go over um, and start coloring, some of the uneven lines won't really show up. So that's very good for me. Another thing that I try to uh, think about when I'm like filming and uh, doing line art at the same time is not to be too close to the paper because that's another problem that I have. And I'm sure you can see it in some some of the frames that I'm pretty close to the paper. So I've tried to zoom in and um, uh, towards the end of the video, you will see that I have like changed the setup. So then I am using a very small camera stand uh, for my camera, but it's so like, it's not so stable. So it, it can't really uphold uh, the camera's weight so I'm just trying to be still and not like rock the table so that the camera falls because then we are gonna have a disaster but that's another thing I want to invest in a good camera stand that is flexible and not as tall as the one I currently have when I when I first uh, planned on having YouTube videos and uh, such I bought a pretty tall stand I think the maximum height of it is like two meters 
or so and it's a little bit too high especially since i am placing it on the table i think the minimum height is like 50 centimeters perhaps but i think you might see what i do better if i have a shorter stand and if i have it placed like just sideways perhaps I would be happy to hear your thoughts about the different angles in this video. Like, do you like the, uh, the setup I have towards like the half of the video, or do you like it more in the beginning? My goal this weekend was to finish off this video and uploading it. So because of that, I'm giving you a shorter voiceover today. And I'm gonna switch over to some piano music now. But I still hope you really enjoyed this video and if you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon. Bye!